you know, in the post records slash CD era, how, like what, what roles, like how does that change the role of like a single and an EP and an album? And like, how much does an artist really need to put out an album? Um, I still think, uh, oh man, I guess it's like based on your philosophy and what goals a career artist has. Cause like, if your goal is just productivity and always being in front of somebody's eyeballs, then single is the best way to go because, mm -hmm. I mean, you're constantly having a steady stream of just attention towards you right. compared to one hit of, you know, 10 songs. Right. The only downfall, I think, of singles over and over is that you can't, it's really hard to create you know, a narrative or, or, or a campaign around it so that people mm. can actually like remember it, you know? Uh, yeah, that's, that's my only one thing about singles. I've done singles only for kind of, you know, a little bit. And I, I also put out the uncanny like EP, which was cool um, and had a bit of a story there, but I, I just feel like I don't know, from the artist perspective, we want people to like dig into the art, you know, deeply because we put a lot of effort into it. And I don't know, I, I feel like singles, it makes it hard for people to like really slow down and like dig into it because mm. the, the rate in which you're consuming everything is just so fast. Mm. Yeah, I think that also then kind of i think borders on another discussion which is social media and like mm -hmm. you know the idea of growing your influence on social media because in a sense singles are the way to go you know you can yeah. constantly you know keep up engagement with your fans there's always something new but similar to you know i mean other issues i was reading an article about you know these the TikTok influencers and, you know, all the people who have become famous over the last, you know, year or so with TikTok and then like them realizing like, do I even want to do this? Like, or like yeah. maintain fame, like all of a sudden, like almost accidentally I'm a celebrity. So then you like dive in because, you know, you get that hit of dopamine, like, whoa, I'm famous. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, do I even want to like keep up the pressure of putting out new content? Like what even is this? And so what's interesting then is like, you're right with singles is there like a way to like actually build like a deep connection as opposed to just like i'm constantly in front of you and you're constantly enjoying my music but there's never like something deeper and something more kind of foundational that an album would bring where they sit down and listen through you know an hour of you and kind yeah. of feel for who you are i think the um this is something i recently have been thinking about like i think the way to kind of add some more depth to singles is like maybe have some sort of long form text associated with it mm. maybe or mm. some sort of long form video video involves maybe like a effort. podcast yeah anything if there's additional media that comes with it i think that helps add depth that's what i want to do i i want to actually start a blog because i'm mm. realizing that's actually more of what i want i want yeah to un kind of i think this art uh this interview actually helped me realize like the reason why I, I'm taking so much time is because I actually like writing. It just takes me forever, but I like having my thoughts. I like this, but I like a blog even more because I just want to be super raw, like like draw very pious Christians away from me. <laughs> like that's kind of how how raw I want it to be. But I think so, that's go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. So I think that might be one helpful way to like create depth, even though there's a lot of singles, you know. Yeah. Quick thought before I ask my question. It occurs to me, and I haven't seen this, but you know, you heard it here first, so I want credit if this takes off. When you release a single on Spotify, I mean, obviously Spotify has a, spot, a podcasting section, but it would be cool like if with the single, it was a two track single. And the second thing was just like maybe a 10 minute conversation about the song. So when you listen to the single, like you automatically then hear like, hey, this is just me explaining the song. And it's kind of like a mini podcast. But like yeah. on Spotify, it's set up as a song. 
So it's just a track. So, and then it's super convenient because then you automatically hear that right after you listen to the song. And then if you would just want to add the singles to your playlist, then you never have to listen to it again. Um, right. Convenient. Because I always think, you know, podcasting, like I just want to listen to a single. I'm going to toss it into my queue on Spotify. Yeah. Have time. Or am I really going to take the trouble of then going to a website and listening to the podcast? Anyway, that's clever. Yo, that's a great idea. I mean, I will certainly credit you because I've never really thought to do it that way. But that is also another solution to adding the depth to the singles. Wow. Great idea, Jason. That's dope. Thanks. Thanks. 